Welcome to Gumball 3000, around the world in eight days. We've got supercars, celebrities, and more mischief than Benny Hill on Pro Plus. the world's ultimate road rally. Over a hundred ridiculously cool cars take part and they drive 3,000 miles in just one week, partying every step of the way. This is no ordinary road trip. Every year, the rock and roll rally weaves its way through a different route. And between breakdowns, border patrols, and the strains of life in the fast lane, Gumball's as hardcore as it gets. Driving 3,000 miles is just huge as it is. But this year, the Gumball Rally is going around the world, driving through three continents in one week. The rally leaves London tonight and hammers through Europe to Belgrade. Then comes the magic. All the cars are loaded onto a huge cargo plane which takes them out to Thailand. It's a blast through the jungle to Bangkok, where the cars are loaded onto yet another plane which takes them to the USA. Then it's a final burn through the desert to LA and a finishing party at the Playboy Mansion. All of that in one week. All right, let's meet the guys that are taking us on this adventure of a lifetime, Ed and Alex. Welcome to Gumball 3000, a journey that's going to take you around the world in eight days. Behind me are this year's 2006 Gumball competitors. Everyone is in there, the weird, the wonderful, the wacky. We've got the Sanchez boys, Pritchard and Joycey, they're in with Richie Warren from Fast Cars. We've got Tony Hawk and his wife, they're in different cars, I think they've got difference of opinion on speed. We've got Ryan Dunn and Bam McGarrett from Jackass, and possibly most importantly from my perspective is Alex Roy, sat over there in the Bentley Continental GT. He's masquerading as a police officer, and it's my personal mission to beat him on this rally. So Ed's going up against this guy, a ruthless gumball veteran. He's kind of the Dr. <laughs> Evil of the rally. I'm Alexander Roy. I'm the captain of Team Pulitzer 144. I'm being pitted against this uh, fellow Ed Lee, who's kind of uh, an unfunny jackass type presenter from the UK. <laughs> I heard he's a pretty nice guy, and I don't care. <laughs> Alex? Edward? Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow on the start line. Your wife is really nice. I know. And so it begins. As if driving around the world in eight days isn't enough, in each stage, Ed is going to battle Alex in a different challenge. Alex has a 600 horsepower Bentley, and Ed has to hitchhike his whole way around the route. That may seem a little unfair, but hey, this is the gumball rally. Who will take home the trophy at the Playboy Mansion? Daniel son, <laughs> you know what I'm going to ask. <laughs> can I have a ride? Yeah, of course you can. There's plenty of room in the back there for you. <laughs> We've just got our first ride of the rally with Monsieur Joyce. This is the Angry Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> You guys came prepared. See, I'm out of gas. I scratched my fucking rim already. Listen, we haven't even driven one boy. kilometer, and he has open. to take a shit. This is the angry pirate receiving. <laughs> this is Dan Joyce, the legend of Sanchez. We've uh, got a boot full of fireworks, a bonnet full of babes, <laughs> and Gumball's about to start. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention please? I'm sorry, but the police are here. They've asked us to stop the party. It's always the same thing. Looks like six minutes and counting. Five minutes and 55 seconds and counting. We're out of here. It's the flux composite of money. It's what makes time travel possible. But for money, you don't run alone, you're not gonna strike. He's about to break his own gumball, Hyman. <laughs> In a fucking Nissan, 500 brake horsepower drift car. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone else I would want to have drive <laughs> me as a passenger. It's fantastic. Unfortunately, that view's not going to be there for the whole of the Gumball, just the exit of the um, of Pall Mall. Essential Gumball accessories, stick on cock. I've got a special surprise for the entire Gumball lineup and all the crews in about five minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> Rally starting in about a minute. It is starting to go mental down here. Guys, your start lane is where the flag is. This is the start of Gumball, and we are fucking ready to go. As supermodel Jody Kidd drops the checkered flag, Gumball 3000 officially begins. Cars head off on an adventure that will take them around the world in eight days. Hey Ryan, I've got a little something for you here, a little duct tape. decision to ride this one. I hadn't actually tried out the uh, back seat before we got in here. These are my knees, um, and I'm going to be in here for around seven hours. First stretch of the rally is a 200-mile blast from London to Belgium, where at about midnight, Ed and Alex will receive their first challenge. I live like a suit. Check this out! Oh, oh, no. Holy shit! That was a couple kissing. <laughs> is 10 miles away from Dover. We're currently about 50 miles away from Dover. I'd say we're doing pretty well so far. <laughs> Gumball Rally is all about endurance. The drivers will be pushing it for 36 solid hours driving halfway across Europe. Sleep when you're dead, boys.
Well, it appears we can't get through into France unless you have a front license plate. Where we live, you don't have a front license plate, so now we're making one out of duct tape and, and, and black markers. If we don't make it to France, I'm going straight to that bar and getting shit tossed. We've got on at eight o'clock. I'm reckoning Roy was on the six or the six thirty. So we arrived in uh, the channel first position. One car ahead of us, Porsche has a radiator problem. <laughs> Programming our, our GPS's up and running. So it's a Chateau de Bleu in uh, Belgium. The gumballers hit France and it's pedal to the metal to get to the Belgian Chateau. The sooner they get there, the sooner they get their first challenge. We're 35 miles from the uh, Chateau checkpoint, the Chateau de Belay, and uh, ETA is about 9.50 p.m. I'm pretty sure we're in first place. <laughs> number one. Yes, I do believe we're number one. <laughs> so they made it to the chateau. After the break, Ed and Alex receive the challenge, and the battle is on. That's a good challenge. Where, where are we? We're at the King. Was it the King of Belgium's house? No, Prince. The Prince of Belgium's house. Have you been nicking again? You yeah. Been no, that's what I'm out, of his, out of his cupboard. Gumball kept the Belgian traffic cops so busy last year that the authorities were adamant that the rally couldn't come through their country again. But it turned out a certain Belgian prince loves Gumball and personally invited everyone to his crib. Challenge one How many Gumballs can you stop, pull over, or delay? It's a beautiful radiation. That's a good challenge. We need to get back in the car. We thought we were winners for a second, didn't we? We are winners, we are winners, but you know, we're the first one for a second. Hello! We won! We lost the. Half of the engine about uh, 20 miles before Lille. Jesus. But I'm gonna I'm gonna party over there. Bye bye. You see Ed Lee? Pick him up, drop him off somewhere random. In the desert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And that way, that way, we'll have scored one point. We delayed him. We win. Has he delayed you? Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on, think about it. <laughs> I've just got the challenge. It's to pull over, delay or stop the most gumballers between this chateau and Vienna. Ollie, you haven't got no, you haven't got to any more seats in there, have you? I need to get clear of these crowds. They're all two-seaters. And I'm missing out on cars that I could potentially. I've just delayed him. Let's chat to him for a bit. That's number one. What am I talking about? All right, gents, you haven't got two tiny seats in the back. I just need to get clear of the crowds for five minutes. That's cool. Thanks, thanks anyway, though, man. Good luck. Oh, yeah, oh. And by the way, Alex Roy has got a challenge to stop, pull over, or delay as many gumballers as he can. Right, right, right. Thanks for the tip, man. No worries. Good luck, gents. Cheers. Not only am I delaying gumballers, that was number two, but I'm scuppering Alex's plans at the same time and being an all-round nice guy. This couldn't be going any better, really. The challenge is to delay gumballers, so Ed does it by pulling them over to warn them that Alex is planning on delaying them. Sly, I like it, Ed. Alex puts the challenge on hold and floors it to Vienna, planning on delaying people once he arrives. Meanwhile, Ed's back at the chateau delaying other gumballers and himself. Oh, yeah. 16 regal and weep, Alex. 
Vienna? I don't know, yeah. Vienna? Yeah, I think I've never been to Vienna. Vienna. I don't know. Know we're just we're driving, we're following some people, just go off, follow them, they look like they're going. Ask the cop, where are we going? Where are we going? Vienna. <laughs> the angry pirates set sail to Vienna, and Dan Joyce from Dirty Sanchez is slowly getting used to the gumball lifestyle. And the river fucking said, pissing around and fucking acting stupid, never gonna get you anywhere. <laughs> Coming to the fucking king of fucking Belgium's house. <laughs> From just messing around with fucking shit! You <laughs> 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 my mates! <laughs> <laughs> Next one that comes through, I'm gonna start hitching. I'm not gonna take any more risks. I'm really, really happy with 30. Oh, yeah. Alright, how's it going? Have you got space for two? I'm heading up to. I need to get to Vienna. Have you got room? Me and the cameraman? Yeah. Wicked. If you're in any doubt as to which vehicle we're in, it's the brainchild of Dave here. Yeah, the 1965 21 Windows Litty. Ed's about to find out that this camper is capable of a ridiculous 135 miles an hour. I'd be lying, Dave, if I didn't say I was nervous through the turns on this. I, I want you to reassure me. You don't need to worry, mate. Everything you, you don't see is 100% portion here. All portion. At the moment, it feels like we're doing about 100. miles from Vienna in the camper van I've got 30 official delays to my credit so what Alex has done I've got absolutely no idea I imagine he's just racing to get to Vienna and then he's going to do his worst once he gets there uh, such is his need to win next up is Vienna Target time projection is 8 o'clock, one hour before the checkpoint arrival times planned by Gumball. You know, this is a, a rally, it's not a race. But as Michael Ross says, first has a quality all its own. We're off. It is actually about one or two degrees Celsius. Wind chill factor. Gold. It's not good. Hey Alex, you finally waking up to the challenge now? The plan to win this challenge is very simple. To stop, hinder, or delay the other gumballers. We need to only help them, which is by informing them exactly where all the police cars are. Bill, it's Alex and uh, Team Polizei are arriving in Vienna. Do not speed in Austria. Over 50 police cars from the border in the city. Okay, hang on a minute. You're now delaying gumballers just by phoning them up and telling them to slow down? Man, I was expecting you to let tires down, ram people off the road. Oh well, I guess we gotta give you that one. Tom Woods, Alex Roy, Team Second. Woodside. Over 50 uh, police Vienna. cars in Austria between the border and, uh, and uh, the city of what? Vienna. Over the next hour, Alex phones everyone he knows on the rally and starts racking up delays for the challenge. We just came across a pack of gumballers traveling at speed. We hung with them for a little bit, got out in front, and Sam managed to block them off, getting level with another car. We blocked them off until seven of them were packed up behind us, waiting until we got a flash on the lights and a couple of hand signals, technically delaying someone, and then shot off, so another seven cars to my tally. How many cars were for us? Yeah, we're the first, yeah! <laughs> Darker show and being. This is Team Polizei from New York, Berlin, Paris, and Monaco, and the Bahamas. Thank you very much. Yeah, you may have gotten to Vienna, but Gumball 3000 is a rally, not a race, Alex. And at the moment, Ed's beating you in the challenge. Meanwhile, the strain of a 900-mile drive is taking its toll on Dan Joyce. Driving along then, and I felt like I was sinking into a chair, and then I just was tripping, and I saw all these cars coming at me down the side that weren't there. So do any of you guys want to drive? He just needs to wake up! <laughs> <laughs>
Alex Roy and the Polizei cars set up uh, roadblocks for trying to slow people down outside Vienna, so be on your guard. Thank you. Thank you. Mike V and Tony H. Delayed. That is 38. Ja, das ist mein Vater. Pump und mein Mundschlucker. Kurselon? Kurselon, you go. Yeah. Straight ahead, then right and left. Hey, check this out. Technically, I'm delaying him. Yeah. Stay in front of him, Al. Stay in front of him. This is number 39. <laughs> my last one before we come into the square in Vienna. OK, Al, we're all Keep good. Going. Let's go. <laughs> Ed and the camper van boys make it to the Vienna checkpoint, and I'm about to let them know who's won the challenge. I'm officially over being in the car. 39 cars stopped on the way. I think I'm now about to find out how many Alex has stopped. Have you guys seen how great his jacket is? <laughs> well, I was so busy being first place every checkpoint. I didn't have time to really bother, so any points I got were totally accidental. He's so not dude, a very good loser. You can have that one. <laughs> yeah, he's not very good. He's trying to be witty about it. Did, you know, you, you, oh, did I, I lose? Yeah, you lost. You didn't hear you lost? No. Well, I'm going to announce it to you right now. Announce away. You only got okay. 24 people to, to uh, you only got 24 people to slow down. You got 39, so so Ed's the winner. Congratulations. And I don't want to see any padding from you like you always do, and then you know drink your sorrows away and then pee all over yourself because it's just getting annoying. Victorious from the first challenge. Ed one, Alex zero. Don't want to get too smug at this stage though, it's only the first challenge, I've got five left to go. I'm in Vienna at the moment and I've got to find a ride to get myself to Budapest. Let's get to work. I was, you know, actually, I'm really proud of him because it's hard to slow down these guys. I mean, these guys really want to get to checkpoints. Even though it's not a race, I mean, the gumballers, they're really, really quick this year. So if Ed got like, 30, 40 guys slowed down half the event, man, it's impressive. You know, I mean, if we actually had paid attention to that and set up real, you know, radar traps and roadblocks and shut down the gas stations, we kind of could have stopped the whole event. I could stop the whole event with a phone call. I felt like it. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't, Alex, did you? And you lost. Let's see if you can do a little better next time on Gumball 3000 when we've got a new challenge as the rally heads from Vienna to Belgrade. And stuff like this happens. See you next time. How much is that car worth? That a million. That a million? Yeah. Fuck.